This exploratory workshop on water and innovation is intended to produce solutions to some of the world's most pressing water problems. So we brought together some of the world's leading scientists together with people here at UBC to focus on those areas of innovation which are most crucial. So the, the major issue I think of water, water is the water supply. We tend to take it for granted it's always there, yet we're realizing that in many cases potable water is not so easily accessible and um, we're seeing severe water shortages in places like California and Australia and I think that we t should really treat it as a treasured resource rather than just take it for granted. The two most pressing water issues is the challenge of providing appropriate sanitation for everyone on the globe and the second one I would say is the pollution of the oceans. For me, the two most pressing global water issues are both related to public health. The first being inadequate waste management, uh, meaning that waste streams, so human sewage, is actually reaching water supplies that people are then drinking from, which leads me to the second biggest challenge, and that's that people are drinking contaminated water and that people are dying of diarrhea. In this day and age, that's just not acceptable. I like to use the phrase pessimism of the intellect, optimism of the will. I mean, there are many reasons to be pessimistic. We've got one billion people around the world without access to safe water serious impacts on freshwater biodiversity. I could go on and on. However, the amazing innovation that we're seeing here at this workshop makes me optimistic. Well, most people tend to think, well, that's just put more filters on the water and make better purification plants. But the tack we've been taking is the idea to try and prevent contamination in the first place. So one of the examples is E. coli 057 that contaminated the water in Walkerton we developed a vaccine for that. Now this is a human disease, but the vaccine is directed against cows, and then cows don't carry 0.7, they don't screen in the environment, and then, um, and then cause human contamination. One innovative solution, that innovation that could help us solve the problems in the future, work on in the next five to 10 years. Um, there's tons of innovations out there, but I'd say that's more than pure technical solutions. In addition to that, we need communication tools. One really interesting solution pertains to the links between ecosystem health and human health. Many people approach these issues as separate, we certainly manage them separately, but there are really important ways in which by preserving ecosystem health, we can actually improve human health. I think this, ex this workshop is important because the water questions cannot be solved in a silo. And I think that the approach, the siloed approach of engineering doing engineering work, public health doing public health work, um, and social science doing social science work, it's just not, that model doesn't work anymore. I think anytime you tackle a complex problem, you want to tackle it from many different points of view. And um, by bringing in experts from all different areas, everyone is thinking about water, but from very different points of view. So I, I'm a real fan of believing you bring, bring people looking at problems from different views, they see the problem differently and this action tends to lead to some unique solutions you wouldn't normally get.